What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are in search of Plethodon polii, or the yellow spotted woodland salamander. I've been searching for this species many times before with no success, but I think that the weather today is going to be nice. It was rainy in the area this morning, and I think there's a chance that we'll maybe see some during the day, maybe see some tonight. But this species prefers shale and sandstone rock outcrops like the one behind me. And I'm just gonna be searching through crevices with my headlamp today, and then maybe coming back out at nighttime to see some more. You wanna be really careful when you're looking for this species not to disturb the habitat because it is very fragile and crumbly. So today while I'm looking during the day, I'm only gonna be going up to rocks that are easily accessible at ground level. I'm not gonna be climbing all over the rock outcrops and stuff like that, causing little rock falls and slides and stuff like that because we wanna be respectful to these animals that we're coming out here to see. So that's just a little thought on conservation. Um, so stay tuned, wish me luck, and I hope I see my first Plethodon polyide today. Now this species is relatively new to science. It only got described in, I think, 2018, and it used to be considered Plethodon whirlii, or the whirly salamander. But it got described with its own name, split off from that species because of its crevice dwelling nature, how they hang out in these crevices like the ones behind me. And they also look different. They have two rows of yellow spots going down their back and Plethodon whirlii and the other members of that species complex lack these. This is the only one that has those rows of yellow spots. And it really just looks like if you took a spotted salamander, Ambystema maculatum, and you turned it into a Plethodon. So it made it a lot smaller, took its lungs away, and uh, gave it the ability to climb and fit into crevices a lot better than other species. So pretty neat stuff. I think I'm gonna have some good luck. So stay tuned and hopefully we'll turn up a poly eye. Found Plethodon polyi. So I guess we're gonna head back to camp and then probably hang out a bit and then come back out at night, see if we can find some more, see if I can see an adult, but that's a win for me. I'm happy that's the only one I see. So we'll keep searching, stay tuned. Well, having a little victory coffee after finally finding Plethodon polyi last night. It's a good feeling. 
Worked pretty hard to see that species. Spent about five or six trips coming down to this area where I've been looking for them and really put in a lot of work in uh, scouting out proper habitat, figuring out what conditions they like and stuff like that. And finally paid off with that tiny little juvenile I saw yesterday. And um, I'm excited to come back and look for some adults. See uh, if I can get some really good photos and a little video clips of them and just keep on looking. Got a couple other species that I'm really excited to see this summer. So stay tuned for those. And as always, hope you learned something new. Peace.